gets in when? Two days from now, he gets in on the second. Why? What do you have to do? I need to. I mean, Dan was just telling me about how like he wants his space back. Like not like to stress me out, but he's like, yeah, like I'll be excited about that space back because like I have to take calls on the porch right now, and I can imagine how that's definitely. Not oh, he works in the little house. Yeah, that's like his office, and Beep. the living room is. Greetings loved ones and welcome back to another vlog. I haven't vlogged since I went to visit my sister, which wasn't too long ago. It's been about mm, a week and a half or so. And I just wanted to vlog today because I have lots of projects that I want to make. I wanna make rose water. I wanna make some treats, a blackberry cobbler specifically, um, because we used a bunch of our blackberries for a blackberry mead that I was talking about in my last like at home vlog before I left to go to Lindsay's. Um, and Finley ended up finishing the blackberry mead on his own because I was hella stressed out before my trip and I didn't end up helping other than harvesting a fair amount of the blackberries, but he did most of it himself. And that's been brewing for a while. So I know I'm gonna get comments being like, how is it? But we haven't drank it yet because it's still in its brewing process. And also right after I got back from Lindsay's, we had a friend in town, our friend Siri, and he helped Finley harvest a bunch of apples, press those apples, turn them into juice and pasteurize them. And then they made apple cider from them, which is gonna be hard apple cider, which we actually made at the end of 2018 with my friend Ariel when she came to visit. It was such a fun vlog. So I'm gonna link it on the screen for you guys if you missed that many a year ago. But yeah, so we haven't made hard cider since then. So we wanted to just try a couple of different homemade alcohols out this fall and I'm really excited for those. So yeah, instead of using um, the rest of the blackberries for making more like alcohol, I just want to make the blackberry cobbler because I haven't done that in a while either and it's always delicious. And I also want to make a frittata because I've been really into frittatas recently. Probably going to make one today, but Larry has a vet appointment in like under an hour well i have to leave in under an hour and he just has to get some updated vaccines as well as his nails trimmed and other than that i'm gonna come home make some stuff stream tonight and just continue this vlog so i just wanted to say he was a hello welcome to the vlog and welcome to the show <laughs> she's so obsessed with her bones right now because she's eating so much it's too bright i need to get black to set <laughs> Are you getting in your cuddles before he goes to the vet? Oh gosh, are you bringing Rio or no? No, she's gonna stay here with you. Too bright. <laughs> she wants to wear your hat and your glasses. Just don't snoot in my glasses, okay? Wow, Larry. Really excited, huh? Just kidding, he actually really hates the vet. But hey, what dog doesn't hate the vet? Actually, Rue used to really love coming to the vet when she was little because they were all so obsessed with her and they would just like give her smooches and treats all the time and she didn't even really mind. But Larry doesn't like it here because he has to get his nails trimmed because he doesn't let us do them. Rue lets us clip her nails, but Larry doesn't. So he has to get some things done today. See you later. 20 minutes later. Good boy, Mr. Larry. You did such a good job. Good job. So that was actually our first time coming to the vet since the pandemic. So I didn't realize, but like I was going to open the door on the vet office and there was a woman outside talking to another lady and she was like, oh, sorry, we're not having clients come in. You're just gonna like wait on the porch and the girls will be out in a second to take him. And I was like, okay. So that's what they're doing here. And honestly, it was a great experience. I was just sitting on their nice spacious porch in the breeze, just hanging out, waiting for Larry to be done <laughs> the entire time. And then they like came out and got my card and then would come back and return it to me. But they said he did okay, but he didn't like his nails done. And I said, 
classic him. That's pretty much the only thing he really hates is his paws being touched. So what can you do? He also got his rabies vaccine updated and his Bordetella. So one of them is like a nasal spray and he came out going <laughs> And I'm like, oh, I know. It probably feels really weird for him to get sprayed up his nostrils. But anyways, we're going to head back home now. And I'm going to keep cooking the day away. Woohoo! Hello. Larry and I are back home now. But before I hop out of the car, I just wanted to say what I've been listening to. Because I rarely can play music in my vlogs anymore. Slash I just don't because I was getting copywritten so often. And so I just play copyright free good music. That is by bad snacks and I love their work <laughs> um, but other than that what I've been listening to outside of copyright free music is my friend I call her my friend because I know she watches my videos and we follow each other on Instagram but her name is Samia and it's S-A-M-I-A -A. and she just released her new album called The Baby and it came out pretty recently I'm pretty sure but I was just listening to it on my way home and I'm just like wow bop after bop after bop loving it <laughs> so definitely go and check her out and then I've also been listening to Hyam's new album which is fucking iconic it's called Women in Music Part 3 and I was listening to that my entire time on the way to and from Idaho and I have just been obsessed I would describe both of those artists that I just said as kind of like folk pop in a way um, definitely more on the side of poppy but a lot of their music has like very folky hints and Samia's voice her range is insane she has this one song called is there something in the movies that i've been trying to learn on ukulele and i just can't even get my voice to go there so go and listen to her tunes i'll link all of these things down below let's go back in the house and eat a frittata well first i have to finish making it okay guys my frittata is in the works and our kitchen is looking like madness right now because we have so much going on Finley's doing some mushroom projects over here, trying to grind his lion's mane into a fine powder, as well as the oysters, right? This is the oyster mushroom powder, and this was the substrate at the bottom of them that came off with the fruiting mushrooms. Also, I should just show you the blackberry mead. So that's seven pounds seven and a half pounds of blackberries and this one's 10 pounds yeah we have these little airlocks on the top of them too so they can make the alky haul oh and i harvested my first goosenecked gourd gorgeous i didn't even know that these were going to come up but just planted them and either that or they were volunteers beep 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 i'm starting my potato leek quiche i keep calling it a quiche but it's a freaking frittata i need to get it through my peanut brain but I'm starting these, sauteing them for like five more minutes. And then um, I'm just gonna season them, add in the beaten eggs in my potatoes. Finley got these eggs from our neighbor Olya for watching her chickens and her bunnies while she was just out of town. So some of them have a little yolk on them because they're unwashed, <laughs> but good stuff. Love a farm fresh egg, baby. I just went outside to get a single sprig of oregano and I accidentally ripped off this whole freaking branch. Shit. So I'm just gonna have to um, pull it apart. It was starting to flower anyways, but I'll just have to pull it apart and put it into a jar or something once it's dried. But using rosemary, sage, and oregano from the garden just to put on this freaking frittata. Okay, in you go, queen, at 425 in the oven. Please don't mind the absolute monstrosity that is our stovetop. It's from the pressure cookers cooking the apple cider down and it's just everywhere. We have to scrub it today. Wow, she is done and I just have a few wounds to show for it. <laughs> I just burnt the shit out of three of my fingers because I grabbed the handle from here rather than with my stupid oven mitt. I literally had an oven mitt on and grabbed it with my bare hand like a fucking fool. But what can you do? I put some healing salve on it and hopefully it'll be fine, but shit. I'm having my frittata on a bagel today just for some extra bread. You know we love bread in this house. How's yours? Fantastic, baby, I'm really fresh. Woo! Finley just brought all of these oysters up 
from the basement. I'm trying not to like tear them. Oh yeah, baby. Gorgeous. Some gorgeous clusters. I'm gonna put these in the fridge. We have so much produce right now. It's honestly insane. We have mushrooms, watermelon back there, that entire bucket. Well, not the entire thing full up, but that whole thing has eggs in it. That's not produce, but this whole thing of peppers, all of these tomatoes. The tomatoes and the peppers, I didn't grow in my garden. We harvested them from Olia's because she paid Finley in produce and eggs for watching the chickens and bunnies. And also this year, our tomatoes and peppers, well, our pepper plants are like coming up, but they're not exactly flowering or producing and it's already starting to get cold. So like, I don't know if they will, but we do have a lot of tomatoes flowering and producing right now, which I'm really excited about, but they're not harvestable yet. And they came in a lot later for us this year than they normally do. But anyways, I just did all of these dishes. Incredible, needed to get done, happy that they did. The kitchen was a friggin' mess when you guys first saw it. So I'm just making little progress cleaning around the house today because everything is honestly like wildly messy and I'm not exactly sure how or when it happened, but um, I'm going to go upstairs and do the laundry and put that away now because I was doing it over the course of yesterday, but I only like washed a bunch of loads and I haven't folded and put them away yet. And I'll show you when I'm done. <sighs> Hello folks. My legs are so sore, so I actually don't even know why I did that because it just hurts to move. <laughs> But um, I'm redressing the bed in here because we have another guest coming to town. Our friend Huntington is coming to town in like two days. So I'll probably vlog until he gets here. Just minor preparation things and whatnot. But yeah, I'm super excited because the last time that I saw him was May of last year when my friend Stefan came up with him and a group of like four other boys and it's been a minute since i saw the man so we're super stoked i know finley wants to do some like building projects with him like he did with siri and i'm just super excited for that also oh my freaking gosh fantastic news nevin is coming to visit me for the first time since i've lived in oregon at the beginning of october october 1st to 5th She's coming up here and I could not be more fucking excited. It's always so funny because I feel like in the summertime, nobody wants to travel or come up or they're just too busy or they're doing a bunch of other things. And then this happens every year for us. <laughs> every fall, people are now like, so I want to come up and I'm like, all right. So we always have a lot of guests in the fall. So that's currently what's happening. But yeah, I'm so fucking excited. I just, haven't seen the woman in a while and absolutely cannot freaking wait. I haven't seen her since Christmas. And normally I just see her around Christmas. But last year I went to her graduation in Santa Barbara with Lindsay and I did like an LA trip around that same time. But I haven't taken an LA trip this year due to Corona related reasons. And um, Finley spent some time there, but it was more like just breezing through to go down to San Diego to visit his friend. And I didn't go with him because it was a music related trip. So anyways, this all being said, Nevin lives in LA now. She doesn't live in Santa Barbara anymore since she graduated. So when I go to LA next, like I can see her there, you know, but I'm also just so fucking excited for her to like see our house for the first time and do fall related activities with us because it's gonna start getting cooler when she comes and oh my lord I just I can't stop thinking about it I think about it every day and yeah I'm taking my family trip in a few weeks as well so things are happening folks it's just gonna be totally wicked and it feels kind of like foreign and wild because I've not been going freaking anywhere all year and that's why I really needed that vacation to see my sister in Idaho because I've just been here, working, doing all my things. And it's just gonna be so nice to take some breaks, whether it be with, you know, having people at my house and taking them on hikes or taking them around to see Oregon or whatever it might be. You know what I mean. I'm just freaking excited. So I'm just getting the bed ready for our next arrival. <laughs> oh, also, I honestly, I'm just gonna show it to you right now because it's pretty unexciting to see 
bed being made. This is very exciting. Look at the new and improved guest bathroom. I have, well I've always had this little compostables jar here with things on it that people can compost, but I recently got some sustainable goodies in the mail from Buy Humankind, so just in case anybody forgets their stuff, I got a deodorant that's refillable, um, this compostable floss, and these little mouthwash tabs, and the toothpaste tabs are from a different company other than the one I use. I also got like shampoo, conditioner, and body wash bars. And then I put up this little sheet here <laughs> so people know. But I need better tape because it's painter's tape and it's like coming off the wall. Anyways, the toothpaste tabs that I have in here are from Unpaste. And I didn't like them as much as I like the Bite toothpaste ones. So I just moved them down here to the guest room in case anybody forgets their toothpaste, you know? Because I had some extra in my cabinet. I figured why the hell not? Also, thanks for the pants, Lynn's. Loving them. I have two pairs of these from Heart of the Label. Hers are kind of too long on me, slightly, but that's okay. I have black ones and green ones, and my black ones are floods. They're like really fucking short because I got the short version, which was a big flop. Next time I'm just gonna get the regulars. Anyways, gonna continue making the bed and then stream on Twitch. Wow, there you go, it readjusted. I'm truly just doing cleaning things today, catch up things, just mu- Oh, I got caught on the fucking doorknob, my sleeve did. Just Monday things. I look like a go-go dancer. Oh, also I wanted to say that I finished all the laundry upstairs and I didn't show it to you because I accidentally left my camera downstairs and it took me so long today because I was watching normal people on Hulu while I was doing it <laughs> and I just finished that book for last month's book club in August and so it was very fresh on my mind and I was really excited to watch the show and I just finished it while doing all the laundry so I was very like invested in that and so it was taking a really long time to get through sorting all the clothes <laughs> but I really liked it I'll probably talk about it and I love this stuff or something like that but highly recommend Hello vlog. Well, hello Twitch peeps. Say hello to the vlog. That's what I meant to say. <laughs> I'm streaming on Twitch for the next few hours. I'm showing everybody my really cute dress. Everybody's just going off in the chat. I'll probably be streaming, I don't know, until eight or something like that. Why isn't it focusing on the chat for all of you? There we go. You can see some usernames now. Howdy folks. Oh yeah, I love when you guys use the little sunflower emote. So amazing. Well, this is what I'm doing, lads. Larry's here. He's just hanging out next to me, being all tired from going to the vet today. And Finley's running errands and gonna bring me home Chipotle. See you later. Guys, I accidentally just streamed for three hours straight. Well, I guess not accidentally. I just got so caught up, you know, and I just didn't even know what was going on. I checked the time and I was like, oh shit. <laughs> been on here for like three hours. Um, Twitch started glitching at the end, which was really weird. So I'm sorry for anybody who was watching and experienced that. But guys, look at this item I was just sent. It is a titty towel. <laughs> it has a literal like bungee cord type elastic in the back so you can like secure it to be tight enough to hold them in. And it's literally just a towel material on the inside, but it's super soft on the outside, like sweatshirt material. My best friend Gina sent me this because she sent me that she got an ad for it like a few days ago and screenshotted it and was like, you need this and send it to me. And I was like, that is so ridiculous. Absolutely absurd. And then she replied back and goes, what's your address? And I just gave it to her and she sent me the titty towel. So it's in this nice green color. I'm trying it on right now. Absolutely living for it. Um, I also just heated up some frittata. And guys, as soon as I came into the kitchen after I finished streaming, I heard something that was kind of like And I was like, what the fuck is that? But just went to go get a plate out, turned around to get my spatula, and there was a little baby mouse like this big in our sink and he was stuck and he couldn't get out. <laughs> so he was just jumping and being like, I fell again. <laughs> and so we just did the old cup and cardboard method and he's not in there. Um, Finley just took him out of the house, but I forgot I was vlogging. So um, as soon as he did that, I picked up my camera again. That's just farm life, brothers. Cheers, I'm gonna eat my frittata now. Three pieces for dinner.
Good morning, good morning. I feel so super cute today. Lindsay, oh, I hit my button on a drawer. <laughs> I was feeling so cute, I injured myself. Just kidding, it didn't actually hurt that bad. But Lindsay gave me this dress when we were doing our clothing swap in Idaho and I love it so much. And then this scrunchie that's in my hair, a subscriber sent to me actually from her Etsy shop. So I'll try to find it. I know it's in my Instagram archives, but so super cute. I woke up a little late today, I will admit, around like 10.45, and then Finley came upstairs to play music, and then he played me a really nice song, so I was enjoying my serenading moment in bed for far too long, and now it's after 11. <laughs> but it was totally wicked, so gotta love it. Now I'm gonna have some coffee, and then I'll read my book. No, nothing grows above the ground where I'm buried. Every day is the same, I miss you, Mary. Okay guys, we're having a little background music. <laughs> but I'm reading this book right now, Good Omens. But I'm having a bit of a tizzy because <laughs> I just got this one in the mail and I really want to continue reading the Tiffany A. King series. So this Terry Pratchett book is like getting to know the witches better. And so I was gonna read the witches trilogy and then finish off the Tiffany A. King series, which starts with the We Free Men. So that would be four more books, plus this one is five more books to read on in my Terry Pratchett phase. But then I also am reading this right now for September Book Club. So I'm gonna start this today because today is September 1st, so happy September. I guess, you know, what I should really do is just read this for September Book Club, really hone in on it, try to finish it. When I'm done with it, try to finish Good Omens or read them both at the same time. I'm not too good at reading books at the same time. And then after that, I'll start my Terry Pratchett books. But I'm also supposed to be reading this with my friends Natalie and Ani soon and we didn't like choose an exact date but um, it's supposed to happen soon so <sighs> reading 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 it seems as though I have taken too much on my plate too many pages on my plate <laughs> but that's okay I mean they're, they're all gonna get read this year it just depends on in what order and I actually have been really enjoying this Neil Gaiman and Terry Pratchett book because they just have such a funny, what is the lighting doing? They just have such a funny tone in the way they write. It's absurd, truly absurd. Also last night we watched The Incredibles on Disney Plus. Shout out to Katie who gave me a login because my sister canceled our Disney Plus. This is at Meggie H Updates, by the way, on Twitter. That's who gave me the account, but Katie Ely or Eli. Is it Eli? It's probably Eli. Is it Ely? Katie, comment down below. Anyways, she gave me her login, and then when Finley and I logged on last night to see if we could watch another movie, because she told me I could keep using the account, she had made me a profile and my avatar was Jessie from Toy Story, because I originally asked for her account to watch Toy Story 4, and it was just so cute that she did that. <sighs> Love it. Anyways, before I go, I want to show you guys this really cool sticker. At Symbiot is a black mycologist that we follow and his page is fucking insane and finley bought his book on cordyceps sorry if you can hear larry outside and need to let him in he bought his book on cordyceps and got it yesterday while i was streaming and so he was like unboxing it for everybody and it came with a bunch of stickers that he put on his water bottle and then this one he gave to me so I think I'm gonna put it on my record player or something. But I also got a bunch of stickers last night that were like weedy Animal Crossing stickers. So I might wait for those to come in to see where I wanna put them, if it's on my water bottle or not. Anyways, guys, I love to talk, so I'll talk to you later. Hello, it's a few hours later now and I just wasted, just kidding, I didn't waste any time. I chose to spend my time on Animal Crossing playing with the new fall updates, woohoo! Love a good acorn, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> Um, but yeah, in my last stream, I was trying to like fall my island up a little bit to get ready for the fall updates. 
and then today, September 1st, was the first day of having acorns and pine cones and pumpkins in front of Nook's Cranny and all that stuff. So I just wanted to see everything and play for a little bit. And I was also watching videos as I did so. And now I'm about to watch my friend Nevin's cleaning out her closet part two video. And if you guys didn't know, my best friend Nevin from back home in Georgia made a channel on YouTube. And honestly, it just took unemployment due to Corona to make this happen for her. And for that, I am actually, I was gonna say grateful, but I'm not grateful that Nevin's unemployed because of COVID because that's fucking horrible. But light at the end of the tunnel, she made a YouTube channel, so you should go subscribe. Anyways. I love her videos so much. She's so fucking funny and it's just great. This is a great thing. One of the few good things to happen in 2020. So it's just her name, Nevin Crutt, but I will link her channel on the screen as well as in the description for you guys to go and subscribe because I'm sure that so many of you saw Nevin in the vlogs, in old videos, and just so many various things over the years. And this needed to happen, you know what I mean? So really stoked about that. Um, I also just wrote my rent check to go and throw in the mailbox and I think I'll just take you guys with me to do that because I need to feed the pigs and give you garden updates on what is currently growing and then I'm gonna come back and finish Nevin's video. And I'm also kind of trying to like brainstorm videos right now for this week because our friend Huntington comes into town tomorrow at night and so i should probably either film my main channel video for this week today or tomorrow and also i just need to film something for my patreon so i'm trying to like you know rack my brain for ideas even though i have hundreds on my phone it's just one of those things where i read the ideas and i'm like yeah that does sound good but executing it mm, i don't know and it's just a mixture of laziness but also like getting bored of the ideas from seeing them over and over again and wanting to like find something different to do instead. I don't even know what it is, but um, yeah, I'm just blabbing. Let's go outside. Nasty but classy. Birkin bag me. Spent a couple thousand on my titties and my ass cheeks. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, you can tell that I've been listening to a lot of female rappers ever since WAP came out. So I got some fall garden updates for you guys. This whole entire bed is just gone. It's pretty much gone, other than this cabbage, which I still just don't know what to do with the cabbage. We don't really eat cabbage. I don't really know why we grew so much of it. We have six plants over here and then six more over there. So uh, let me know if you have any good cabbage recipes. Hey girlies, I'm gonna come over in just a second and feed you, okay? Okay, I'll give you a little comfrey. Give you a little comfrey to hold you off until then. A little snack to hold them over. Um, but yeah, the broccoli bed is probably just gonna continue to produce through fall because it's a fall crop, so that's good. But um, we also have some random little tomato plants that are fruiting in here from last season. I didn't plant these, they just started to come up, those little stinkers. The strawberry plant is still doing well. Oh, I actually have one to harvest today. And then I can harvest all of the potatoes that grew in this bed as well. Give me this strawberry. I definitely need to do a lot of like soil work on these beds if I'm gonna turn them for fall, but my local nursery is closed until two days from now, so I can't even get new starts until then. Mm, that strawberry was delicious. Um, also, we got a new sprinkler system. I'll just go show it to you. We were kind of playing around all these hoses. One of them is broken. Um, we were kind of playing around with the idea of like getting an irrigation system or a drip line or something. And we just settled on getting hose splitters and running it from the pump house through here. There's also a splitter in there to do pig chores. And then this sprinkler runs to these beds. And then there's another sprinkler and a hose that runs through here. And it normally stands up on that big wooden box, but we need to get a better system because the box keeps falling over in the wind. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I mean, everything is doing really good. All of our tomatoes are finally producing. I'm sorry, you can hear peachy. I'm so excited that the tomato plants are starting to produce. That's one, that one's not really ready for harvest yet, but this is our only like ripening plant, but we do have all of these and I need to get a stronger gate for these 
two over here because they keep fucking falling over and like the stakes are bending, which is annoying. It also looks like a deer has been coming in and eating my kale trees bare, which I'm just now realizing. Horrible. I have some potatoes to harvest, some beans to harvest. I should probably do that today. And then this is just all squash and it's all starting to come in really well. I mean, I have a little tiny one in there. I have a bunch of acorns under there and pretty much I would say half of these plants are acorn squash, which is pretty exciting because that's one of my favorite squash. We have our zucchini in here that's doing good, surrounded by more tomatoes and more squash. So that's pretty much what's rocking and rolling in our garden right now. And over here, this is all just weeds in here, blackberries and wildflowers and stuff. But in here, oh my God, guys, look at the size of this squash, like compared to my tiny peanut hand. I mean, it's fucking huge. So we have that gigantic boy. This rhubarb needs to be harvested, I'm pretty sure. And then these are all just onions that are coming in. I have another sprinkler running to here. And the cauliflower has been eaten down by bunnies and rabbits, so I've just left it. And now we just have all of these cabbages. So we have one, two, Eight cabbages plus that six. Fourteen cabbages. What am I gonna do with all the cabbage? Let me know. But yeah, I'm really fucking excited about all the squash that we're gonna have this year. I mean, it's truly just an unreal amount. Look at that bad boy. We got another one over here surrounded by all this Queen Anne's lace. It's gorgeous. Right, Rudel? She loves to be in the garden. She's so tiny. She just gets lost in all the plants. But I mean, yeah, that's pretty much all of the garden updates other than the herb garden. And the herb garden is just how it always is, you know? Lots of mint, lots of lemon balm, lots of medicinal fun things. Oregano, parsley, just all of it. So, oh my God, guys, who is she? Is this a pumpkin or is this a watermelon? This is what the leaves look like. Oh, a little ladybug. The leaves look like this. I don't have my phone out here for my picture this app, but holy shit, that's the first time I've seen that. What an exciting time to be alive, real. Also, these purple tomatoes are giving me life. Anyways, I need to harvest my beans today. That's something I need to put on the to-do list. Harvest beans and probably more potatoes. Also, what I need to do on vlog is harvest all of these blackberries because, well, these ones are drying up because they were heavily harvested. Well, other than this one, delicious. All of these all around here. And they're all producing and going insane. And my favorite ones are the hanging fruits over here, which are so stunning and so easily accessible. Mm. Just a girl and her berries. I need to harvest these as well, probably today or later tonight. I don't really like to do garden work in the middle of the blazing sun because if you guys are into Ayurvedic eating or healing in general, I am a Pitta. <laughs> And so I'm very, very hot all the time. Just so much heat in my body. And when it's hot outside, I mean, I just gotta wave the white flag. I'm like, I can't fucking do it. I can't focus on anything other than how hot I am. So I'm gonna wait for the sun to go down a little bit before I harvest those. Maybe we'll make the blackberry cobbler tonight or the crumble. I need to find a good recipe. Maybe I'll use the one that I made back in 2018. But I'm just blabbing. I'm just blabbing to myself over here. I just wanted to show you that because I was leaving the house anyways to go to the mailbox. Come on in, Stinker. You're not getting the ball. We're not playing ball right now. This is her every time I tell her she needs to come inside. Wait, but I thought we were playing ball. And Mr. Larry is just living his best life, cuddling himself on the couch. You are such a sleepy dog, house. All you do is are just freaking sleep and run around when it gets you're kind of like your mom. You kind of have to wait for the sun to go down to go outside and play. Too hot for you right now. All right, cuties. I'm in the car now, and I just filmed a Patreon video. I did a cover of one of my favorite songs by The Front Bottoms, just for those sweet, sweet fall vibes. You know what I'm saying? The good thing about this cast is I can still hold a knife. So if you ever twist my arm again, I'll be sure to put up a fight. I tried to do it like 18 times 
I'm not even kidding, probably 20, and it was just insane. And now I know you guys are a little shaky, I'll try to stabilize the clip in editing, but I'm going to pick up farmer's cheese from our friend Athena, and she just lives down the road, so I'm going to go do that. And it's only eight bucks for an entire fucking huge mason jar of cheese. And I wanna make pizza, and I only really buy dairy and eggs and stuff if it's local, so that's where I'm headed right now. Cheese check. <laughs> this is what I'm talking about, $8 for all this? Incredible. I'm making a damn pizza with this. I can't fucking wait. All right, folks, Ducky just put her snoot all over my legs when I came home. I'm not exactly in proper farm clothes to be doing this right now, but I'm just washing out their food container to make more. As soon as the girls stop eating and see how wet it is outside, they're gonna run over there, roll around in the mud and then come and wipe it all over me, like the muddy gals they are. Yeah, Ducky, she's looking for seeds. Okay, I'm just gonna make them a fresh batch of food now. All right, I filled up their mud bath their outside reservoir for drinking or bathing, their indoor water tray, and then all of the food has been made. This is what they eat. Sow pellets, alfalfa alpha hay pellets, rolled oats, and sunflower seeds, mixed with water to make a mush that ferments over the days. <laughs> They're just eating dry food today because I didn't have any wet food made. And they really got a bunch of mud on my legs. Well, just Ducky did. Peach is fully dry. But other than that, I mean, my dress survived. Note to self, don't look cute when you're making the food. Greetings, and welcome to my poorly lit cooking show. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a small batch because I don't have enough nutritional yeast to make the tripled recipe that I normally do. I normally triple this recipe to make a lot of it, but I'll need to go get more nutritional yeast from Winco at some point. Anyways, for this recipe, we are going to be making vegan parm, and it's very easy. All you're going to need is three ingredients, nutritional yeast, raw unsalted cashews, and salt. I'm going to start off by putting in two thirds a cup of raw cashews into my food processor, followed by a quarter cup of nutritional yeast, and the last ingredient. Hold on, Rudolph. And lastly, a teaspoon of salt. Now, you're going to ah, pulse it. Pulse it real good. Pulse it. But pulse it good. <laughs> Until it's fine and ground. Now I probably only have enough to maybe fill up my shaker bottle, but we'll see. This is my old parm bottle that somebody bought when they were making vegan risotto at my house. And ever since, I just use it to make my own vegan parm. Okay, well it didn't fill up the whole container, but it filled up a fair amount of it to here. But normally I fill up this whole container and then I fill up a separate container to refill this with. And so I normally do two cups of parm, three-fourths a cup of nutritional yeast, and three teaspoons of salt. So I just triple it, like I said. Anyways, I'm gonna put my bulk stuff back away, but I need to add that to the list that your girl needs more nooch. That recipe is easy and delicious. And let me tell you, it is much better than just nutritional yeast on pasta because when I was growing up, my mom used to do that when she was switching over to being more plant-based. And I tried it and I was like, oh my God, this is so bad. But we literally put this shit on everything. I think that it just helps to have like a nut protein, break it up and have a little salt in there too. So I'm having some leftover pasta, homemade tomato sauce with also some Italian field roast sausage that I had left over that I didn't cook on Lindsay and I's camping trip. Mm. All right, folks, now I'm going to be making ketchup. And this is everything you're going to need to be able to make it as well as water. So we have apple cider vinegar, salt, tomato paste, cinnamon, cayenne pepper, mustard, onion, garlic, 
cloves and allspice and i'll link the recipe down below so you guys can make it it's from a little insanity.com so i'm just following this recipe and then doubling it okay now i'm going to make some rose water and instead of a quarter cup of vodka i'm going to be using a quarter cup of witch hazel because i'm going to be spraying this on my face and not using it in like a bath or something like that and I don't want to spray vodka on my face <laughs> and this will preserve it just as fine. So I'm going to do that. Um, and also instead of just a half a cup of chemical free rose petals and just using rose, I'm going to do a quarter cup of each. So rose and calendula and make it more of a floral toner. So I guess you could say I'm putting my own twist on it. Guys, I know that this is the dirtiest <laughs> it's ever been, but, um, we just moved our table diagonally because we thought maybe it would be a nice funky switch up. And I'm wondering what you think. Just imagine that it's really clean. Guys, there is something in the fucking water. We just caught another tiny baby mouse and I need to show you how cute it is when I put it down. That's why we don't want to kill them. I know people are gonna comment being like, ew, mice, you should definitely set kill traps. But it's like, they're so fucking small. Okay, little stink. Look at it. So tiny. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, it ran on my foot. Yeah, this is where you live outside, not in my freaking house. Keeping the solo cup catchers. Keep going on my way. is how the herb garden is looking by the way so this is all sage right here we have some daisies and some other marigolds up at the front and some other just pretty looking flowers but this thing is my parsley that's going insane and in seeding so I've kind of tried to prop it up on my little sunflower garden stake here and then we just have a whole, whole bunch of um, mint and lemon balm mixed in throughout here. But this whole big thing right here is all lemon balm and it's all starting to come up in flower as well as the spearmint. So that's what's at the bottom down here in our butterfly bush, thinly chopped. And it looks crazy. <laughs> um, and then we have our Christmas tree over here that we never planted because we're just gonna drag it back inside for the holidays. So I just water it probably every three weeks or so. And then we have some friends over here who are actually starting to flower right now, which is really incredible news. And once these little buddies come in, we'll have the peck for the winter. Also what's really cool about this plant is Finley actually got these from a friend in Northern California who's a subscriber of ours. Shout out full time to farm. Love you guys, Matt and Sam. And there's like a little tomato growing out of the side of this one. So anywho's, love these little buddies. Just watered them. And I'm going to harvest some blackberries now. Six cups worth. folks we got six cups and some very blackberry juiced hands <laughs> to show for all this work and now I'm just gonna go and rotate my sprinklers to different areas it's currently watering the greenhouse bed over here and this bed with the cabbage in it but I need to move it all right guys I have my blackberry crumble ready to go in to the oven and it was such a simple recipe it's so so easy i'm gonna link it below if i like how it tastes but this is all you need it's just berries flour sugar oats dark brown sugar butter oil i used instead of vegetable oil coconut oil cinnamon and salt and i literally just like combined these poured it at the bottom combined these crumbled it over the top and that is it and now it's going to bake at 375 for 40 minutes until the blackberries start bubbling. Also, 
Finley cleaned the stove top for me. So now I can take my note off the top. Doesn't it smell good? It smells like the blackberry bourbon basil cider from Portland Cider Company. Wow. Look at her go. The bubbly blackberries. Let's see how she tastes. Blackberry crumble and spirited away. Don't mind if I freaking do, Larry. What are you getting into over there? Looking for a little lick? It's really some of your best work, baby. Really? Absolutely stoked about it, yeah. Wow. Even Rue is stoked about it and she's dreaming about it right now. Good morning, guys. It's Wednesday and Rue is pushing around her bones on the floor, if you can hear that. She just stopped and looked at me like, what am I doing wrong? <laughs> Um, Finley woke me up with breakfast in bed this morning, which was really pure, very cute. He's been making his signature egg sandwiches, but with mushrooms inside of them. And he said he put some, some farmer's cheese in here today as well. So I'm gonna have this. I just made my morning coffee and uploaded my Patreon cover. And what's the plan today, San? Huntington gets in at like 8.45 tonight, so I have some cleaning to do before then and some other various things I wanna film a video before then as well. So that's 411. Hello folks, I have my AC blasting and my workout gear on because I'm about to do an ab workout because I did legs the other day and I've been recovering for two days, <laughs> dare I say three, and um, I just need to get this workout in before our friend comes because I know that we'll probably be doing other stuff while he's here, like hiking and doing other various things. And so I'm just gonna get an ab workout in before all that and try to stay on the ball. I'm on week 23 of my 24 week BBG workout program from 1.0 to 2.0 and I'm about to finish 2.0 and then I'm probably gonna start once I finish this program on um, the no equipment workout program that they just introduced to the sweat app and this isn't sponsored by the way I'm just really excited about it because that means I can do um, a workout program that I can travel with so I think I'm gonna be starting the no equipment program like right the week that I'm going to be traveling to Montana with my family so it definitely worked out I don't I think I'm gonna film this workout because I don't have that much memory on my camera card in here, my memory card, but I just wanted to say I'm doing it. <laughs> That's good stuff. Hello folks. I just vacuumed the entirety of the downstairs because Huntington comes in a few hours. We're gonna leave around 6.45 to pick him up um, because we have to run some errands before we go to him. And I'm streaming at six and it's like 5.20 right now. So I'm rushing to get everything done. I'm gonna have a bit of a shorter stream tonight. Like probably only 45 minutes or so because we're leaving at 6.45 and I start my streams at six um, because, I mean, I could start earlier but I just won't have the time, honestly. I need to go and finish my main channel video for this week just so I get it out of the way, you know? Would you look over here at this tiny pinocular on the back porch ready, ready to come in? Oh, really blurry. All right, folks, ignore the mess of a table behind me, but I just filmed my hair care routine on how I got my hair this freaking long and it'll probably be up before this vlog goes up i think and if it is i'll link it on the screen <laughs> i'm streaming on twitch again i'm only going to be streaming for about 45 minutes or so well just 30 more but hello cuties <laughs> hi guys lmao y'all got clogs <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, love the emotes. Love it, love it, love it. Um, I'm playing through the fall update today on Miss Twitch, wearing my really cute little ensemble, my little dandy hat. Just looking for fossils, gonna go meet my camper at the campsite. Let's see who it is. Oh my fucking God, it's Marshall. 
Oh my fucking god, it's Marshall. I literally was just talking about this the other day. I need a smug boy. And this is what the campsite does. It generates a personality that you don't have on your island. And that is exactly what happened. I met Marshall the other day and I was like, holy fuck, honestly, I would get Marshall on my island. Like, I would invite him, you know? And now we're just gonna have to play some games for him. So, holy fucking shit is right. The chat is going off because they're so excited. And I on Nick, campsite villager. Yes. I don't know who the fuck I'm gonna move out. I can't even think about that right now. I'm just gonna try to get him. Oh, nice lighting. Oh. It's decent. It's not horrible, but Hi. it is. Hey there. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, we're in the car on the way to the airport now. I streamed for about 45 minutes and I did end up getting my smug boy. Mr. Marshall has moved it. Well, not yet. He hasn't moved into Finegland yet, but he will be soon. And he is replacing Dora, who is my ideal choice to be replaced because I had the three normies. I'm sorry if you guys don't play Animal Crossing and don't care. I had three normal personalities and I wanted one of each, so my last boy to get was a smug boy. And I had a lot of girls too, so that's why I wanted Marshall or just any smug boy. And he just showed up at my campsite and I said, this is my moment. So, um, I'm happy about that. It took me about an hour and a half of trying the, um, Xing out the game method until finally he offered to replace Dora. So, now we're in the car. We're almost to PDX Airport and we have probably about 20 minutes to kill before we pick up Huntington. But I just wanted to end off the vlog because it's probably going to be another hour long doozy for you all. Um, I love you so much. Thanks so much for watching. We both love vlogging. It's a totally wicked time. We just love showing you what the frick is going on. Right, Persh, maybe? Vlogging and clogging in the Crocs. Yeah, yeah, he loves to show you his Crocs. Nothing better than that. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this vlog, please give it a big thumbs up for me. Subscribe to my channel if you're not already. Ring the notifications bell if you'd like to be notified when I upload. You can become a patron of mine if you want to support my earnings for this month and just see more from me. And until my next video, stay smiling. Bye, guys. Peace, love, live a call, live the dream.